1974, they made a porn film dedicated to the fans and creators of the golden age of superheroes. Here's what happens. This is Flesh Gordon. I'm Jay Harang and I talk about soft porn and stalker movies. You should subscribe. First a warning. Now a warning? This film is 50 years old, so please accept that some of the attitudes don't reflect modern Western society. I recommend, therefore, that you stop watching now if you think there's a chance this could upset you. Anyway, it starts with this meeting held by Professor Gordon, a renowned physicist and world authority in animal behaviour. What's this meeting about? Gentlemen, we are in big trouble. A large proportion of the world's population has been overcome with a condition dubbed sex madness, causing those affected to just start going for it, wherever they are and whoever they're with. What is causing it? The cause is unknown, but Professor Gordon's son, Flesh, a professional hockey player, has discovered a beam of light coming from a far-off planet that coincided with the first outbreak of sex madness, so he's on a plane back to the US now with the details. That's not on. That's disgusting. On the plane, Flesh is sat next to this woman, Dale, and the plane is hit by sex rays. Now all the passengers are affected by sex madness, and so are the pilots. Sir, I got a giant boner! I bet you do. So they leave the cockpit and join in with the orgy in the back. Flesh seems to be able to control himself to a point, so he grabs a parachute and jumps out of the plane with Dale to safety. When they land, this guy jumps out and assumes they've come to steal the patents for his rocket ship. Flesh tells this guy how he got there and the man believes him. This man is Dr. Flexi Jerkoff, and here's his rocket ship. So the three of them are going to the outer limits of the solar system to find out where the sex rays are coming from. When they get into space, the ship is hit by sex rays and then they bang. No natural force could have affected us the way that sex ray did. Then, out of the window, Dr. Jerkoff sees a planet that looks like Earth and decides to land the ship there. This is the planet Porno and these soldiers have been instructed by their ruler to take the ship down and bring the passengers to him unharmed. I can't show much of what's going on inside the ship because Dale has been naked ever since the three-way. Oh, I see. Luckily, before they leave the ship, Dr. Jerkoff gives her the dress his mother was buried in. Come again? Good. There's oxygen on this planet. Good? Some strangely dressed Pornovian soldiers come to get them, but they hide in this cave. The further they get into the cave, the stranger the rock formations are. Then this thing pops out. Some species of Penosaurus, I should think. Okay. There's a few of these, and when they try to escape, Dale falls over and is attacked by one. When the soldiers arrive, they shoot the things with their laser guns and take the Earthlings to their Emperor, Wang the Perverted. Wang's like, why have you come to Planet Porno? Dr. Jerkoff tells Wang that they've come to stop the sex rays from ravaging planet Earth. Wang's like, unlucky, nobody can stop me. How did you get here? In a strato ship I constructed. Wang needs scientists, so he tells his guards to take Jerkoff to the laboratory. He then decides to take Dale as his wife and orders Flesh to be killed. But Queen Amora wants him for herself. The blonde giant shall not be depleted. Wang's like, yeah, that's fine, as long as he survives the trials. So Flesh is off to the arena. Here he has to defeat three half-naked women wearing troll masks and making cat noises. I can't show much of this, obviously, but Flesh ends up winning and Amora magics him off to her ship. Her plan is to erase his memory and make him her internal sex partner and king of darkness. Wang is going back on his deal with Amora. It's unclear why he wants Flesh back, but he does. Dr. Jerkoff has cleverly managed to escape from the lab, take one of the Pornovian ships, and shoot down Queen Amora's ship with it. Flesh manages to escape the wreckage and is wearing Queen Amora's clothes, as that's all he could find. A Pornovian guard attacks him and there's this fight. Jerkoff! Flesh! Hi. Flesh asks Jerkoff where Dale is and he's like, yeah, she's getting married to Wang as we speak. Flesh wants to put a stop to it, but Jerkoff's like, it's pointless, we'll just get ourselves killed. Then Queen Amora's face appears in the corner of the screen. Take these stones, destroy Wang, and his insidious schemes. Apparently, once Wang is defeated, her soul can rest in peace. Ah. Uh. Anyway, so Flesh and Jerkoff are off to save Dale. This wedding ceremony is pretty weird. To old river, let me Odd. Very odd. Flesh's new outfit is far more appropriate, and he and Dr. Jerkoff managed to get into the palace and to Wang. Where is he? Ah, you're too late, you fool! As Flesh and Jerkoff are leaving the palace, Wang's priest pulls this lever, which opens a trap door and they fall down into this pit. 
Dale has been stolen by Chief Nelly, another of Wang's enemies. Chief Nelly and all her soldiers are naked, so I can't show you much of what's going on. But I can tell you that Dale doesn't want to be there, as they're forcing her to have sex with women. Oh dear. When Flesh and Jerkoff wake up in this pit, they hear Dale screaming. Jerkoff uses the stones he got from Queen Amora, which for some reason he's attached to his nipples, to smash a hole in the wall. Good lord, Flesh, they're dykes! Dykes! Really? Come on, it was the mid-70s. True. While Flesh is freeing Dale, Jerkoff is holding the others at nipple point, but one of them sneaks off and sounds the gong, which summons this thing. <laughs> Then there's this fight. Who was that with the arrow? It was Prince Precious, the rightful heir to the throne of Porno. He thinks that together, he and his friends from the Forest Kingdom, plus Flesh and Jerkoff, can defeat Wang. So they all go to the Forest Kingdom where Dr. Jerkoff has made this ray. Wang's odious sex ray will be utterly smashed to smithereens. First, we have to attach the power pasties. What? In order for this to work, he has to connect it to his nipples. <laughs> I see. He tests it on a scale model of the sex ray and it works. So now they need to attach Jerkoff's ray to a ship and head to Wang's palace. But someone is spying on them. He's one of Wang's spies and reports all this back to Wang. Doc, we're getting close to Wang's palace. Just one more minute, Fresh. But the spy is on board the ship. Oh no! Yes. He pulls one of the stones off Jerkoff's nipples, then uses an umbrella to parachute down to the palace. Wang then uses a tractor beam to pull their ship into the mouth of this thing, which crushes it. But it's okay, because Prince Precious handed umbrella parachutes to everyone on board earlier, and they used them to float to safety before the ship was crushed. So now Wang and all his soldiers think they're dead, they can sneak into the palace undetected. Well, virtually undetected, they still need to get past a few guards. But Wang has somehow managed to trap them in this room. See how you like my royal flush! The floor opens into some sort of giant flushing toilet. Wang then starts singing a song about how Flesh is dead, but he's not dead. He and his friends are swimming through the pipes and appear in Wang's orgy room. Wow, that was fast! Flesh grabs Wang and tells him to hand the stone over, but he's hidden it between this woman's legs, so Flesh has to retrieve it. I see. Obviously I can't show that. Wang then releases his rapist robots. <laughs> Flesh abandons his search for the stone and helps his friends escape before changing the settings on the robots to make them attack Wang. Together, the group then dislodges the stone from between the woman's legs and they go and find the sex ray. But Wang is bringing the stone giant to life. Well, how delightful. He's got Dale! They need to use Jerkoff's ray to kill it, but they need to get closer, so they use Wang's rocket ship. While the stone giant is nursing his ass, Flesh drops down a rope ladder to save Dale. As the giant tries to stop the ship, he falls off the tower and into Wang's palace. So Prince Precious is now the ruler of Planet Porno. The universe is once again safe for democracy and freedom. Good. Good. Flesh, Jerkov and Dale are headed back to Earth. And that's the end of the film. So until next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and check out this other video. Thank you.